We're gonna show you how to get a velocity without having a chronograph. This is some factory ammo. This is Hornady Match ammo. Uh, this is for six millimeter Creedmoor. And we're shooting 108 ELD Match. On this box, it already lists a velocity, but you don't know if that particular velocity lines up with your rifle. So we're gonna check and make sure that we get a more accurate velocity. If we don't have a chronograph, that can be a little difficult. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this as a recommendation for a start point. Now, typically they'll use about a 24 inch barrel to use this and you can add or subtract about 20 feet per second per inch to get uh, an estimated velocity. For example, a 24 inch barrel versus my 27 inch barrel, uh, that's three inch difference. So I'm gonna add an extra 60 feet per second to their estimate. So their estimate is 2960. My started starting estimate is going to be 3020. I'm using the Applied Ballistics app to do this. You can use whatever calculator you want, um, but in particular, I'm using Applied Ballistics for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a profile here. So I'm gonna, I've, I've actually already created it. So I'll show you show you the settings here. So I'm gonna go and edit. Um, so right there under muzzle velocity, I have it at 30, 20 feet per second. Um, I selected the Hornady 108 ELD match uh, as my bullet when, I, when the profile came up to select that. So uh, everything else we're gonna basically leave the same and uh, click this little edit button to save that. One cool thing that we can do is we can hit the trajectory function. So we're actually gonna put in 1500 yards on this screen here. I'm gonna click get target heading. So we have a good azimuth. And we are acquiring our atmosphere. So all of our information is there. If we select trajectory, it brings up this table here. And you can see 1500 feet per second. It's estimating we're still above velocity. And I'll show you, let's go back and put a further range in. Let's just increase this to 2000. So see this little red box here at 1530 yards. That's where it's saying the speed of sound is. That's, that's our transonic point. So this 1112.1, we want to go to 20% above that for Mach 1.2. 2 times 1.2 is 1334. So now I'm going to go back to my table and find where we hit 1334 feet per second. And looks like almost 1300 dead on is 1332. So we're going to go to 1300 yards and see if we can uh, spot some impacts there for touring this velocity. So I've got this entered into my calculator now, my ballistic calculator on the AB app for 1300 yards and saying I need 10.7 mils in our current conditions. So I'm gonna dial 10.7 mils and we're gonna take our shots at that distance. Actually our target's at 1282. So we're gonna put in 1282 and that's 10.4. So I'll dial 10.4 for these first shots. Impact. Can you see where it hit? Looks like up in his head. Up in the head, wow. Uh, which would be about half a mil. Half a mil high. I'm going to dial this down from 10.4 to 9.9 .9 yeah. and send a second one. Spot her up. Okay. Well, that was weird. Looks like it ricocheted. ricocheted. Does that look at the bottom? Yeah, I think that looks like at the bottom. Okay, that's a half a mil low. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Okay, all right. I'm going back to 10.4. Okay. In fact, uh, Is that in the orange? Is in the orange. Okay. So I'd say we're probably doing pretty good. So it looks like we got that one pretty good on the first try, but I'm going to show you what you would do if you are not spot on. See, we hit right in that orange area, which tells me that our velocity was good. Uh, so that initial estimate of using the box plus changes in the barrel length got me very close, but um, it's not always the case. So what we would do if that was not spot on 
is, so we're at 10.4 mils at 1282. We'd go to those three arrows and hit ballistic calibration. We'd put in our range, 1282 yards, and we would put in our actual drop. So for instance, if I needed to actually change that to 9.9, .9, like we were thinking, I'd type in 9.9 .9 and I'd hit run. Down here at the bottom, it gives me a muzzle velocity calibration result. It says 3,083 feet per second, which makes sense if that were the case, that we didn't need as much, uh, we didn't need to come up as much because the bullet was going faster. Now, conversely, if it needed to go the other way, if we needed to go to 10.9 10 instead of 10.4, run that, 29.69. So it was slower than our 30.20. But in these cases, both of them, uh, the 30.20 was right on that 10.4, what we needed. Um, so we're, we got a ballistic calibration ready to go. 10.4, we can apply that. I had 30.20 in there, so 30.25, it's gonna be pretty close. So uh, that's all you have to do. Your velocity is good to go now.